Good morning, I am Carol Humphrey and this is my impact moment. After medically retiring from 30 years of Army service, I was lost and basically mad at God. I had all the reasons in the world to be suicidal, angry, and depressed. My childhood was a combination of physical, emotional, and sexual abuse. I joined the Army at 17 and that abuse continued. I was sexually attacked and ventured through multiple abusive relationships and didn't know a loving God. I was taught a God who was going to put me in hell. The more I turned to God, the more depressed I got. I said I was a Christian, but it wasn't in my heart. As a battalion commander in Ramadi, Iraq in 2006, my unit was bombed constantly. I had bullets whizzing by me and even missed two suicide bomber attacks by minutes. One left a hole in the earth where my entire convoy sat mere moments after I instinctively moved us off an Iraqi construction site. Multiple Marines and Iraqi soldiers died and were maimed that day. Four of my soldiers were killed in three different attacks. After my convoy was hit, I started having headaches and passing out. I was forgetting things, having angry outbursts, I couldn't sleep, and I was anxious with very vivid nightmares. I was forgetting where I was and even who I was. After getting back to the States in 2007, I was diagnosed with PTSD, anxiety, depression, and traumatic brain injury. From 2011 until last year, it was one bad report after another. I had a brain aneurysm, two strokes, I lost my ability to comprehend reading material, and then my hand became paralyzed. It was a lot. After multiple surgeries and mental health treatments, I started coming here. Over the last couple of years, God gifted my reading skills back and I began studying and understanding the Word. I did a lot of forgiving and learned God's love and grace. It was God who caused, who caused the, rock, the rocket that landed near me to be a dud. He was my so-called instincts when snipers, rockets, and mortars didn't hit their intended targets. If you have illnesses, chronic pain, and strongholds with doctors saying no and looking perplexed, and you are blessed enough to be alive, that's God saying yes. Jesus is saying yes because that's what God desires. It's working for me. Stay tuned for my miracle.